Welcome everyone, to the Tech Legend YouTube channel. In today's video, we are reviewing a 3D printer, from none other than the Prusa Research, and their new original Prusa i3 MK3S, 3D printer. Also for your convenience, we provided the links to this product, right in the description down below. Without any more delay, let's get straight into this review. When we talk about 3D printers, there is one company that stands out from the rest, and that's Prusa Research. Joseph Prusa, the founder of the company, is not only the brain behind the project, but also the leader. The Prusa printers have long been renowned for their open source roots, and the advanced features they pack in, all while keeping the price around $1,000. This 3D printer is almost identical to the popular Prusa i3 MK3. The MK3 is an iconic 3D printer with a long history of awards, and a huge user base. The main difference between the MK3S and the MK3 is the redesigned filament extruder. The extruder now boasts a hybrid system with both an optical filament sensor, and a mechanical lever. It is also easier to change the nozzle, and PTFE tube. The build volume remains similar to the previous version, and should be more than enough for most prints. This MK3S version also boasts minor yet smart enhancements, in both its firmware, and hardware. Let's talk about original Prusa i3 MK3S's some of the main features. Magnetic bed with swappable steel sheets, these PEI coated build plates enable quick, and easily 3D print removal. The print bed is able to heat up to 100 degrees Celsius. Sensing fans and Noctua fans, allow noise reduction when 3D printing. Also, cooling from both sides of the extruder increases the 3D printer's overhang performance. Bond Tech Extruder, dual gears ensure a reliable grip on the filament to prevent any slipping. The nozzle can reach up to 300 degrees Celsius. INC Rombo Motherboard, the MK3S is able to detect shifted layers and correct its course. Power Panic, in case of a power outage, the MK3S can resume the print where it left off. This feature does not require batteries. This high-quality desktop 3D printer is available at the manufacturer price of $999. Several upgrade kits are available for original Prusa 3D printers as well. The new printer, original Prusa i3 MK3S, like the previous generations is available in a selection of formats, free as printable parts and a shopping list, as a kit that you build yourself, or as an expert built system that can be unboxed and is ready to use. Let's talk about what are some of the new features with this printer. While the MK3S looks very similar to the MK3 and the original, some important differences exist, and the MK3S was built, and updated according to user feedback. The model MK3S is basically a MK3 version that is slightly souped up. The extruder has had a few design tweaks over the previous version, that make it easier to use, and service. Prusa has also addressed a minor issue with resonance. This issue has been overcome by shifting the nozzle closer to the x-axis, which along with the upgraded fan helps to improve print quality. Another enhancement is the hybrid filament sensor, this combines a mechanical switch, and optical sensor. This gets around issues that were caused when printing with transparent, and some reflective filaments. The optical and mechanical sensor used in combination improves reliability, when these filaments are loaded and ejected. Software The Prusa MK3S uses Slicer software, which can be downloaded from the Prusa website. Slicer is a well-known open-source 3D printing software, and Prusa has produced a series of iterations of it, tailored for its printers. When downloading Slicer, be sure to choose the version compatible with the MK3S. Slicer is very easy to set up, and use. It's good for both newbies, and experts. Beginners may want to stick to basic settings, while there are a wide range of settings, that more advanced users can tweak. Let's talk about the main feature, how are the printings? Out of the box, it prints very well. There is not much stringing at all. The bridging is top notch, layers look clean. I've been testing other 3D printers as of late, and I'm going back to the MK3S prints, and have to admit, they look really great. This has been one of my go-to printers, so I have a number of rolls of filament through it. It's printed great the whole time. One of the most important parts of 3D printing is your first layer. If you can get that right, your print should at least finish, and the Prusa MK3S has all sorts of gadgets to help make that first layer smooth as silk. The Prusa has a lot of advanced settings, far more than any other printer at this price range. With auto bed leveling, filament runout protection, 
and power surge protection all included, the MK3S is a powerhouse of automated safety measures. When it comes to printers around $1,000, the Prusa MK3S print quality blows every other printer, I've seen out of the water. I have printed various prints in many different sizes, and the Prusa results have been nothing but spectacular. There is a reason that so many people use Prusa printers, as small manufacturing farms, instead of the more expensive printers. They work dependably, day in, day out, and are constantly being updated, and improved. Of course, there are always software updates, firmware gets turned all the time, and Prusa's version of Slicer is always getting new features, but even the hardware gets updated. This means that you can expect a long life for your printer as the team further refines it. In conclusion, search no further than this machine, if you're looking for a powerful yet well-built 3D printer, that can produce beautiful prints, and is easy to use, then the Prusa is for you. If you want the very best printer you can buy for around $1,000, nothing really comes close to the build quality, and features you get. It's not the cheapest at $1,000, but it delivers consistently. Prusa is also providing tech support, and a group of enthusiastic fans who will offer assistance, or guidance if you need it in the Prusa forum. Another advantage is that, you can hack and update the printer even more, since the printer is open source. We highly recommend this 3D printer. As always, thank you for watching our review on this product. Also, if you are interested to check this product out yourself, you can find the link in the description down below. If you like and found this video helpful, don't forget to give a like, comment, and to subscribe.